Paano mag-login sa Moodle? Una, pumunta sa moodle.deadetdasma.edu.ph Makikita rin ang link sa description. Pagkatapos, i-click ang login. I-click ang student email. Click your DepEd email account kung ikaw ay nakasign in na sa iyong Google account. Kung hindi nakalagin sa Google account, click Add Account or Use Another Account. And then, enter your email address. And click Next. Enter your password and click Next. Click Allow. Click Continue. Quick Tour sa Moodle. Your new dashboard has many features to help you easily access the information most important to you. Then, click Next. The timeline block shows your important upcoming events. You can choose to show activities in the next week, months, or further into the future. You can also show items which are overdue. Then, click Next. The Course Overview block shows all the courses that you are enrolled in. You can choose to show courses currently in progress, or in the past or the future, or courses which you have started. Then click Next. Courses may be sorted by course name or by last access date. You can also choose to display the courses in a list with summary information or the default card view, then click Next. This is the end of your user tour. It won't show again unless you reset it using the link in the footer, then click End Tour. How to edit profile? First, click your name, then Profile. Click Edit Profile. Check the spelling of your first name and surname. And to add picture, click here. Choose Upload a File. Then click Choose File. And choose Photo from your folder and click Open. And click Upload this file. And finally, click Update Profile. Additional information. Parts of the lesson. Introduction. The lesson content and learning objectives is presented here. This part also provides preliminary activity that introduces Initial concepts on the learning targets. Development. The actual lesson presentation is done in this part. This part also includes self-check activity on learners' background knowledge about the target concept. Engagement. This part enables the learners to be engaged in various tasks and opportunities which also exposes them to additional real-life tasks that shall ignite their interest which allowed them to meet the learning expectations and fully understand the skills and concepts. Assimilation, this part will bring the learners to a process where they shall demonstrate ideas, interpretation, mindset, or values and create pieces of information that will form part of their knowledge in reflecting, relating, or using it effectively in any situation.
activities and some icons that you may encounter in Moodle assignment. Assignments allow students to submit work to their teacher for grading. The work may be text typed online or uploaded files of any type of features device can read. Forum. The forum activity allows students and teachers to exchange ideas by posting comments as part of a thread. Files such as images and media may be included in forum posts. The teacher can choose to grade and or rate forum posts and it is also possible to give students permissions to rate each other's posts. Glossary. Glossary can be used in many ways. The entries can be searched or browsed in different formats. A glossary can be a collaborative activity or be restricted to entries made by the teacher. Quiz. The quiz activity modules allows the teacher to design and build quizzes consisting of a large variety of question types, including multiple choice, true or false, short answer, and drag and drop images and text. These questions are kept in the question bank and can be reused in different quizzes. Interactive content, the H5P interactive content can help teachers in designing activities that their students can enjoy. Resources, book. The book module enables a teacher to create a multi-page resource in a book-like format with chapters and sub-chapters. Books can contain media files as well as text and are useful for displaying lengthy passages of information which can be broken down into sections. File. A teacher can add a file in a course when editing is turned on by dragging and dropping it or by clicking on add an activity or resource link, or if not present, the add an activity drop down menu and selecting file. Label. A label serves us as a spacer on a module course page. It can be used to add text, images, multimedia, or code in between other resources in different sections. It is a very versatile resource and can help to improve the appearance of a course if used thoughtfully. Page. A page resource creates a link to a screen that displays the content created by the teacher. The text editors allows the page to display many different kinds of content, such as plain text, images, audio, video, embedded code, or a combination of all this. URL. A URL, Uniform or Universal Resource Locator, is a link on the internet to a website or online file. Teachers can use the URL resource to provide their students with web links for research, saving the student time and effort in manually typing out the address. Mm -hmm.